Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashin announced Thursday addressed the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, PACE, and answered dozens of questions of the delegates. In his address, Pashinyan touched upon the Karabakh conflict settlement, Armenian revolution, reforms, and fight against corruption. He spoke also about his recent meeting with Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev, as well as Armenia's relations with neighbors. The Prime Minister also held meetings with Council of Europe Secretary General Thorburn Yagland and PACE President Leon Mori Pasquier. Pashin assured that Armenia needs Council of Europe's support and will continue working with this organization. The Armenian and Azerbaijani foreign ministers will meet on April the 15th in Moscow. This time, Russian Federation Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov also will be present at the meeting as the foreign minister of the co-chairing country of the OSCE Minsk Group, spokesperson for the Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs Anna Nagdalyan said. French President Emmanuel Macron has signed a decree to declare April 24th a day of commemoration of Armenian genocide. French ambassador to Armenia, Jonathan Lacote, tweeted. According to the decree, every year on that day, a ceremony will be held in Paris, which can be organized in each district. The Prime Minister takes the responsibility for the execution of the decree. The Criminal Court of Appeal of Armenia on Thursday denied the appeal by the attorneys of second president Robert Kocharyan and of the extension of his custody period for two more months. One of his attorneys stressed that they will appeal this ruling by the Criminal Court of Appeal. Kocharyan has been charged with breaching the constitutional order and taking a particularly large bribe. Italy's lower house of parliament on Wednesday approved a resolution calling on the country's government to officially recognize the Armenian genocide. According to the Armenian embassy in Italy, the Italian Chamber of Deputies adopted the motion calling on the government to recognize the Armenian genocide and give the issue an international dimension. A day earlier, Turkey had summoned Italy's ambassador in Ankara. Armenian freestyle wrestler Arsen Harutunyan won gold at the European Wrestling Championship. Being behind 0-8 before the break, Harutunyan managed to defeat his opponent, Georgias Beka Homtadze, to win his first European title. 